In 1980s, the people with cystic fibrosis would live for 20 years or so, the median age. When I started cystic fibrosis in early 2000, the median age was 39 years. Now it's 47 years. And then fast forward to 2019, around October 2019, came the creation of Trikafta, which has been enormous for people with CF. It's, it's been extraordinary. The improvements that we've seen in their lung function, in their reduction in their flare-ups or exacerbations, improvement in body mass index, improvement in quality of life has been enormous. And the new word for Trikafta is highly effective CFTR modulator. I repeat, highly effective CFTR modulator. And what has happened, many of our patients are coughing less. They have regained the lung function. Uh, patients who, who would have required lung transplantation, they have come out of the list for lung transplantation. It has given a new lease of life to the CF patients. You can actually use the expression, it's a, it's a breath of fresh air because they can take deep breath now. I remember when I was a kid, being in the car with my dad and he just told me that, he was just like, I promise you that someday we'll see this. And I never forgot that. I remember exactly where I was when he said that. And little did I know it would happen in my lifetime, and little did I know it would happen before I was 30 years old. And I didn't think it would be only three pills a day <laughs> after all the pills that we've taken over the course of however long. Uh, but three pills a day and how life-changing they are, it's amazing. We went from having people in the hospital, usually all the time, we would have someone, a handful of people admitted to the hospital at any given time for treatment of an exacerbation to having almost none. And it really couldn't have come at a better time because it happened right before COVID. One of the greatest things I've ever had my doctor stare me in the face and say, is he said, John, you need to start worrying about other things like old people diseases, like heart disease. Like he said those words to me and I was just like, really, we're, we're there? Where I actually have to worry about these other diseases. It was awesome to hear like, yeah, okay, I need to, yeah, working out and eating healthy and eating right. Um, yeah, I need to start doing those things because I'm gonna be around long enough to develop those problems. It's due to the contribution of Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. And their, their goal is to get it done. Their motto says, get it done, means we have to cure cystic fibrosis. So the, the new medicine is a new chapter in the story. So previous to, to that was stick to the routine, you know, uh, you never know what's going to come. Live your life fully because you don't, well, you just don't know what's going to happen. And that's still the same, but the story has changed because all of those years of effort on the foundation side with Tony Regent and Robbie Nyack and myself and my parents, it, it, it paid off. So yes, we always, we must be eternally hopeful, but there can actually be a miracle payoff to all of that hard work and inge ingenuity. Like the foundation was really ingenious in their approach to raising money. And it took a while, you know, years and years, but it, there's like this miracle payoff. It, it's unbelievable. Like, I mean, I consider myself a pretty healthy an individual to begin with, um, but the Trikapta has just brought it to another level. I mean, I'm I'm actually gaining weight now, uh, which has been very surprising. You know, I, I went to the doctor, um, I think probably back in April, I stepped on the scale and I was like, I need to lose a few LBs. Oh my goodness, like, I can't believe how much weight I've gained. I stopped coughing on January 9th of 2020. I he knew it. He knew it was possible. He saw all the studies and the data. And, but to have a patient tell you firsthand that this lifelong cough is cleared up, uh, we had a great moment together. Even as a kid, you know, I'd hear about other diseases. Oh, I just take a pill, and uh, you know, it's it's gone. And I, and the time that you spend on your treatments when you want to be doing other things, there was always this like. What if one day I could take a pill and it would, it would fix things? So 
And I think it's been like that for, it feels like that for a lot of the CF population. And so the amazing, amazing research and work that the CF Foundation has done, but thankfully the Tri-CAPTA has, has really worked for me. It's really kept my pulmonary function at a above average level. It's some women have are now able to have children because of the just the, the shift that this medication makes. So it's it's I mean it's it's it is it's changing lives. Uh, my mom just loves it, and uh, when I go tell her what I'm up to, she just can't believe one that oh, I'm 51 and able to ride my bicycle 5,000 miles in a year at a pretty respectable pace, and you know have this long marriage and I don't cough anymore like that blows her mind when I told her that that I'm overweight and I have to go on a diet right because I was diagnosed I was malnourished I was dying of malnutrition and to be a little bit overweight is just mind-blowing to her so she loves it and I, I just my dad passed away before this all happened and I just wish I could share it with him Yeah. He got to see the first generation of the drug, but I couldn't take that. So he had all of that reward. He saw me do all that running. So we had plenty, uh, but he would have took particular pride in seeing uh, my life change. 20 year reversal of the disease of my life. I'm in. I remember telling my wife, I think it was after like the first several weeks of taking, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel fairly normal. So uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, for someone that was born in 2019, they can expect to live to 48 years, but it doesn't take into account the improvement that we'll see from the CFTR modulators. So we really don't know, but if these modulators, these medications can be administered earlier in life before the lung disease really sets in before um, the di diabetes um, really happens, before they you know, pick up certain organisms um, that may make their uh, life uh, expectancy shorter, um, then we're really hopeful that they can have a, a, a really long life.